All right, welcome back to the channel, everybody. Jimmy Kolb here. I'm an equipped bench press specialist, currently with the heaviest lift ever done in powerlifting history, a bench press at 1,350 pounds. So one of the things I have to deal with on a regular basis, the topic of today's video is elbow pain. Today's question comes from a comment on my last video from Stefan uh, Stocks Made Simple, and he says, any recommendations for elbow pain specific warm-up or exercises, thanks. So today I'm gonna to go over what I do for elbow pain, what I do to combat it, what I do to make it better, and still get in the gym and work around it. The first thing I do since uh, elbow pain sometimes just cannot be avoided is I warm up very thoroughly before I do any kind of bench pressing in the gym. One of the best ways to do that for me is to do either rope extensions on a pulley machine or band extensions. What I'm gonna do is exaggerate the full range of motion, really get that joint moving to get a lot of blood and lactic acid back here in the joint and the elbow. And this is done with very, very lightweight, sets of 20, sets of 30, 40. As long as I feel my muscles getting warm and the joint getting nice, uh, broken in and or like moving around, that is something that I'll do before I touch uh, even an empty barbell, if and when I have persistent elbow pain. One of my most common elbow uh, sources of elbow pain anywhere is what uh, tennis elbow, which is on here on the outside of the elbow. You also have softball elbow here on the inside, but most commonly you're gonna have it right here on the outside. So we're warmed up now. I've got the joint moved. I got some blood back there. So what's next? If it's still sore and I still wanna get some bench pressing done, what I'll do is I'll put on some elbow sleeves. Being an Anderson powerlifting athlete, I utilize the Anderson Extreme Elbow Sleeves. The particular ones that I have are the seven millimeter model. And what this is gonna do is keep the joint warm and also add a little bit of compression. It's definitely not something that I wanna use all the time and make it a crutch. I do the majority of my work without the elbow sleeves, but I have, if I have no choice, if I've got pain, I wanna work around it, I will definitely slap on elbow sleeves so I can keep bench pressing. One thing that I might do as well is take any kind of topical cream like Tiger Balm or Biofreeze, put it on the joint first, and then put the elbow sleeve over top of it. One thing I will do, or rather not do in the gym if I have elbow pain, is direct uh, single uh, joint or what we call isolation movements. So for example, I won't do super heavy dead stop extensions off the floor. I won't do movements that go through the full range of motion and put a lot of stress on the joint or the muscles in the stretch position. So I might cut the range of motion short. Pretty much what I'm trying to do is still work the muscle, but not irritate the elbow. So I will find ways to work around it, either by avoiding exercises or modifying them to fit uh, my current needs. Lastly, what we have is coming home from the gym. I'm sore, I got a good workout in, but the pain is still there. I've got two things I like to do winding down for the night. The first thing is working my extensors with my fingers. I have this little band uh, made by hand bands. It's gonna fit around each one of my fingers and I will work the extension of my fingers. Working the extension of the fingers is a great way to help alleviate elbow pain, especially tennis elbow here on the outside. So after I do quite a few sets and reps on each hand, just sitting there watching TV, just kind of going till it burns. Sometimes I'll wrap that up afterwards by putting on a freeze sleeve. And the brand itself is actually called Freeze Sleeve. They just sit in your freezer. They're good for about 20 minutes of cold. They are cold. I believe they, they, they feel colder than ice. So it can be painful, but again, it's just something I want to do to kind of help keep inflammation down and it does just overall feel really nice on the elbows too. Elbow pain is just going to happen. It just comes with the territory when it uh, comes to bench pressing heavy weights. It's something you're going to have to deal with multiple times in your career. Those are the things that I do to help alleviate and eventually remedy uh, common elbow pain. And again, thank you, uh, Stefan Socks Made Simple for the question. Hope you enjoyed the video. Please subscribe to the channel, like the video if you got something out of it today. It's my pleasure to bring my knowledge of the bench press to others. I'm looking forward to making more videos for you guys.